Dunlop continues to evolve the FX500 series with the new and improved FX500 Tour. Today we got to play with the new FX500 Tour from Dunlop. This is going to be the new iteration of their power line with a tinge of stability. Playing with the FX500 Tour was actually really interesting. I noticed that for a power racket, it provided me with a lot more precision than I ever expected. With the 500 Tour, I noticed that playing with this sweet spot was really good. On the forehand side, it felt great, consistent. On the backhand side, even if I was unbalanced, there was a shot that still went in, so that was pretty surprising to me. With additional precision coming in with a smaller head size, that additional weight still makes this a definite power racket. Overall, I could definitely say I'm more biased towards Tour and Pro Model rackets due to the weight and smaller head size. But with this, on the FX series, it was actually really fun to play with. To all the players out there that love their traditional power racket, I would definitely give this a try if you're looking for a bit more control. FX500 Tour is one of Dunlop's best rackets to date, in my opinion. It gives really great power, really great feel, and just an overall good racket. The Dunlop FX500 Tour felt really great on the court. I thought it played amazing, and I think it's a big improvement from the previous generation. Dunlop's FX series of rackets is known for their power generation, and you can definitely notice it with this racket. When the right shot came along, I was able to really slap the ball nice and flat and hit an easy winner. It's a super comfortable racket, even though it is a little bit on the stiffer side of things. With the Dunlop technology they put in this racket, you have no issues. Typically, my backhand isn't the most powerful, but with the FX500 Tour, it really did help with the power generation. I was able to hit hard backhands just like my forehands. If you're a big hitting player who likes power, but you want something a little more comfortable and a little more control oriented, take a look at the Dunlop FX500 Tour. This frame from Dunlop is the heaviest FX model available. It's also got a smaller 98 square inch head size. So if you're looking for a good blend of power with a little extra control on deck, it's the FX500 Tour. The racket is 10.8 ounces unstrung and six points headlight. There's a 98 square inch head, standard 27 inch length. The racket flexes a lot softer than the previous generation at 64, and it's got a very mobile swing weight at 320. The racket also has a 16 by 19 string pattern for a nice balance of spin and power. The FX500 Tour has a new power boost groove. It allows the strings to sit a little bit deeper into the frame, and it rewards the user with a little bit more flex, better ball pocketing, and of course what we're all looking for in more spin. Even though this racket is the heaviest in the 500 line, it's very maneuverable and quite easy to use even for intermediate players. The surprise of the playtest for me came when I ventured forward to the net. It was really easy to cut off passing shots, and I felt like that extra flex gave me better feel on touch shots and drop volleys as well. All in all, the FX500 Tour is a really great update for me. The improved comfort, softer flex, it just makes the racket a lot more accessible and it keeps the powerful response of the previous generation, but with a lot more comfort. If you're a big hitting player and you like a modern crisp feel, the FX500 Tour can deliver a little more control than your average power racket. You can get the FX Tour for yourself or try it out with our demo program at TennisExpress.com.